all of those volunteers. So the Rough Riders back in the lead. Milo with the kickoff, a short boot. And Burnett hops across the 30 and then is taken down. Newman Hurl and company, some familiar names on the kick cover for Saskatchewan. Let's check back in with Ryan Rashog for an update. Yeah, Chris, quick update on Ronnie Brood. I was told by the Eskimo staff that he's been taken to the hospital for precautionary reasons. He had full movement and full feeling in all of his extremities. So that's uh, a bit of good news, although we await full results. That's what we were hoping you could tell us. So good news on Ronnie Brood. Stephen Giles to work. Fred stamps the catch. First down up at the 45. That's his second catch of the game. That'll equal Fred Stamps' output. Last meeting between these two teams. And with the catch, he has moved ahead of Waddell Smith on the all-time catch list. And came into this game needing 51 to move into the top 10 in yardage. As he tries to pass Craig Ellis. He's at 32 yards so far in this game. Here's Hugh Charles kicking it to the outside and turning the corner. He'll get bumped out by Chris McKenzie, but into Rough Rider territory at the 48-yard line. Uh, Hugh Charles picked up a nice block on the outside from the wide receiver, Greg Carr. Carr did a good job getting his, in front of his man, getting the hands inside, and also knowing just the right moment to let go. Quick cut there. There you see Greg Carr recognizing exactly when to let up. 17 for Charles, first down Edmonton. And Giles downfield looking for Kuhort, he's got it. Has he been touched? Matt Carter with the catch. Matt Carter comes up with his first catch of the game. Now the Acadia product, former first round pick of the BC Lions. Comes up big, he's just heading right down the seam. Another perfectly thrown deep ball by Steven Giles, and this is a nice adjustment to the ball by Matt Carter. He sees it early, pushes off gently on McKenzie just to get that separation. Steven Giles again, drilled by Mick Williams. 41 yards, it's Carter's first catch of the year. James Patrick, the safety, waiting in the hole. Looks like Matt Carter, the receiver in motion, couldn't decide here whether to block. Patrick, as he comes across, and he sees James Patrick step up, couldn't decide whether to block him or keep going. Loss of three. Second and goal from the 10. Sometimes you just have the right play called defensively. Stamps in motion. Pressure on, Giles into the end zone, overthrowing Fred Stamps. Heat was on. And the Eskimos will have to settle for three. Or an attempt for a field goal. As Grant Shaw and company come on. And the heat comes on. Riders send six on Stephen Giles. Shamari Williams leading the pack. Shaw from the 17. And the lead now is four. With just under five minutes left in the third quarter. Two sacks to one in this game. Donna Picard has returned to center for Saskatchewan. Corey shoots the ball and not much there. Ted Laurent stuffs that play. Well, with 43,178 on hand, it could be a big night for tackle hunger. Make a 
donation, get your picture taken with the Great Cup. The Silver Road has been in these parts more than a few times. Yes, familiar territory for the Cup. It's the last great dynasty the CFL. Second and ten, pressure. Here's Justin Dressler, and he dropped the ball. Touchdown, Burnett! His second of the season. <laughs> Joe Burnett quickly earning a reputation for being in the right place at the right time. Crossing route's going to get completed here. To Weston Dressler, he takes a big lick that pops the ball loose. Burnett, who returned a deflected interception for a touchdown against BC a couple weeks ago, strikes again here, scooping up the fumble. Scoop and score, 43 yard play. Gary Durant was upset about that shot to the jaw, but there could have been a penalty there. You saw him arguing with Glenn Johnson after the play. I think Gary and Durant's got a right to be upset with a blow to the head. Munoz and Tops in the tackle that pries the ball loose. And Cisco closed ground, but Burnett had too much of a head start. Well, he has become a turnover magnet, Joe Burnett. Leads the league in interceptions with three at the 108-yard touchdown return you referred to. And now a fumble recovery touchdown that puts Edmondson back in the lead. On an interesting Friday night here at Commonwealth. The uh, guy with Joe Burnett's speed, also a pretty talented returner. Picard again, slow to the sidelines. You're going to turn over the football. That's the last guy whose hands you want to see it land in the Saskatchewan. Extra points, good. And now it's the Eskimos by three. Darren Durant on the sidelines with Kahari Jones. You saw the discussion with Glenn Johnson. In fairness to the officials, most of the discussion was after Joe Burnett got to the end zone. Nonetheless, I'll raise the point that every scoring play, and this is a scoring play, is reviewed. Christian Jackson with the return. Finds a crease, but there is a flag as Jackson is bumped out at about the 36-yard line. 34-yard return, but let's check the flag. Holding, Saskatchewan number 53. 10-yard penalty and a run back. First down. It's up to Darian Durant and the Riders to regroup here. Shake off that last play. Get back on track. Patrick Neufeld, the player called on the hold. It's loud at Commonwealth. Sheets the ball carrier right side. Taken down after a couple. Don Ramasion celebrating that tackle. Feeds off a little bit of momentum here. Ramasion in a defensive tackle. He 
has gone to the sideline. Simone Lawrence checked in as an extra man in coverage for the Eskimos in this passing situation, second and eight. Flag down, pass complete. Gets left the catch with Chris Thompson hanging on. Would be a first down. Let's see if it's coming back. Last side, Saskatchewan number 81. Five yard penalty, repeat second down. There's Jeffers Harris offside. Started the night with a rash of penalties, nine in the first 23 plays. Now a couple here have set the Rough Riders back inside their 15. The defensive coordinator Mark Nelson didn't want to hear all game. Wide open Dressler. Dressler lines up at number three. Out to the wide side of the field. Does the right route on against that zone coverage. He ends up slipping unnoticed to the sidelines. 24 yard play for Dressler. First down for Saskatchewan at the Edmonton 52. in the neighborhood. The point guard dish a little off target. Yeah, Darian Durant initially looking to Chris Getzlaff sneaking out into that right flat. That's taken away, but Sheets is open. With Sean Lemon in his face, his accuracy is compromised. to Dressler to get them out of a hole and they'll kick from around midfield. And those last two throws from Durant looked almost like he was having trouble gripping the football the way it came out of his hand. He got it. There's Milo looking for the corner. Very close. Fields it at the nine, and gets cut down. Mike McCullough and Corey Hucklock are there. This is our league is brought to you by Nissan. Now I'm told that Punter was featured last year and Nanook, the other Eskimo mascot, has demanded equal time. So even spending time with Saskatchewan fans. The Nook loved by all. Polar Bear. We've got a little background on him. Maybe not loved quite so much by Gator, the gopher. Gator will be asking for equal time as well. Stephen Giles looking for Kyle. Got him up at the 36 yard line. Wrestled down by Nick Graham. And the Nook's got the upper hand right now. Right, I mean, we see what the Nook does day in and day out. I mean, but here's a look at the Nook when he's not in front of the big crowd. I mean, this isn't all fun and games for this guy. A lot of hard work involved. Taking on Odell Willis prior to the game. Looking for a hard-earned snack. A little nap. Got to have a nap before the game. Pre-game nap. Final play of this third quarter. That's a good one for you, Charlie. Just like that, the Eskimos get 
great field position. First the pass to Carr, and then a 21-yard dash by Hugh Charles. Yeah, Hugh Charles looking to break loose here. Zeros on the clock. We're through three quarters. A three-point Eskimo lead. Winner moves into a first-place tie with BC in the West. Lots at stake, and uh, plenty to be decided here tonight with 15 minutes left. There are the numbers through three quarters. Yeah, and Chris, I think you're seeing how much is at stake in terms of the, the emotion that we're seeing in this football game, the level of intensity. Both teams turning in some big plays on both sides of the football. I mean, with as close as the standings are, yeah, it may only be the sixth game of the season, but I think this parity is bringing out the best in everybody across this league. We always talk about turnovers, points off turnovers, a big one there for the Eskimos on the touchdown by Joe Burnett, but uh, a decent response for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders, and now their defense has to come up big because the Edmonton Eskimos are on the move. Again, second of three meetings between these teams. Rough Riders won the first and would take the season series with a win here tonight. Stephen Giles has other plans. Look at her to Stamps. And he's wrestled out at the 49-yard line. Oh. Four yards on the plate for Stamps. If you joined us late, Stephen Giles started hot. Seemed to get hurt. The Eskimos would not confirm that. He came out for a couple of series late in the first half. Has been back in here throughout the second half. Trying to keep this drive alive. Second and six. And he's Car through his fingertips, a ball that should have been caught. Yeah, going back to that quick slant to Greg Carr. Stephen Giles trying to lead him, hit him in stride here. That one will go against the receiver. Kirk Dales will look for the corner. Kristen Jackson will let it sail. It'll reach the end zone. And it's now a four-point lead. Probably not by design, but not a point they'll turn down. 62-yard single. And now more than a field goal away for Darian Durant and company. One of the key guys for Saskatchewan today, right from the get-go. Been there running back, Corey Sheets. on the ground and through the air. Their most dangerous weapon, certainly. The busiest man in Darian Durant's arsenal. Well, they're not protecting a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter this week. That storyline's gone. Well, let's see if they can finish. Completion along the sidelines. Jordan Sisko able to stay in to make the catch. Good effort by Was Cisco. Was Durant over the line of scrimmage? The sidelines. Thirty-five is the line of scrimmage. And whoa! Just across. But now the challenge flag comes out. I wonder if Durant was aware of it, because if he was, you'd, you'd think the Riders would have hurried that next play. Yeah, yeah I think he had a, a sense that he was in the area, but you think back to week one when the Riders did hurry up in Hamilton in a situation where a play could have been challenged and likely would have been overturned.
Edmonton is challenging that the quarterback was across the line of scrimmage when he threw the football. We'll review the play. And based on what we saw, this shouldn't take long. Yeah, you can see that marker at the top of the screen is right on the 35-yard line. Darian Durant crosses right there, clearly, by the time he releases the football. You can see Darian Durant's foot, and obviously the 35-yard line behind him, and the ball is still in his hand at that point. It's a pretty easy call for the replay officials. Nelson's got his troops gathered, and Harry Durant takes a walk over. It's one way to read a defense. Well, Mark Nelson just told him, you tell me what you're running, I'll tell you what we're running.